Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar Neo and I'm going to edit a couple of portraits. Not something that you hear me say that often simply because I normally shoot cityscapes and landscapes, but practice makes perfect. I had an opportunity recently to go to an event and take some portrait photos. So I had a 50 millimeter prime that shoots at f 1.4, which is great for me in lower light to be able to fire off quick shots, which to be honest, I never actually get right. But practice makes perfect. I'm trying to get better at portraits. And frankly, it's kind of fun, to be honest. I just want to improve really in lots of different aspects of photography. Portrait taking is one of them. Anyway, here's the first photo. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually increase the brightness here simply because I didn't really nail exposure. It needs to get a little bit brighter and I'm going to add a tiny bit of contrast. So maybe something about like that, which I think looks pretty nice. I'm going to get a little bit of sharpening on the photo. So maybe a 25. And I'm gonna take luminosity noise reduction to about 20. So basically, just some simple edits. I did shoot at a higher ISO, which is why I'm using noise reduction. And I also wanna sharpen it a little bit just to give you a little bit crisper view, you know, a little bit sharper photo overall. So if I zoom in, you can see there's the photo uh, so far. Here it is before, and there it is now. I think uh, it's looking better. I'm gonna go ahead and commit that, zoom back out and move on to the next tool, which is one of the fabulous portrait tools that they have in Luminar, and that is Face AI. And I'm gonna do something very simple here, which is face light, and I'm gonna to go to like a seven. I don't really need a ton of light. There was some light that was set up over here that was kind of shining on her. So I got a little bit of light there already. Obviously increase the exposure in the develop raw tool, but a little bit of extra face light for me helps. There it is before. And there it is now. So I think that looks good. Maybe I'll do a little bit of eye whitening just in case. I think that helps perhaps as well. And I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and commit that tool. Now, there's some other tools here like, like Portrait Bokeh AI. I don't really need it here. The background's pretty blurred already. I think I'm fine with that. Skin AI, not going to mess with, nor am I going to mess with Body AI. Great tools. I covered them in the portrait video that I did when Neo launched. If you want to look at those in a little bit more detail. But I am going to add a vignette. I'm going to drop this about a negative 50 something. And I'm going to make this about a 20. I'm going to choose a subject. And I almost never choose the subject to be on the face. I'm actually going to choose it right here in the edge of her shoulder and make it a little bit below her face. And I'm going to add a little bit of inner light, about a 15 or something like that. Again, creating a little bit more light on her to help her stand out a little bit more from the background. She's already going to stand out because there's light on her. I've increased the exposure, which hit her a lot. I did face light, which hits her a lot. Now I'm doing an inner light in the vignette. So just be careful when you're using a lot of these tools in combination that you don't overdo it. But basically, I want a little bit more separation between her and the background, and I want a little bit brighter light on her. All these tools together are helping with that. The only other thing I really want to do is crop the tool, and I want to click Erase. The, what I want to erase are these two lights here. They were just... Uh, not in the right place, or more accurately, perhaps I wasn't in the right place. But regardless, a couple of seconds with the race and you're done. And I am gonna crop as well. And I think I'm gonna do a free crop. And all I'm gonna do is bring this up just below her pocket there. So I've got that. I think she looks fine the way she is in the photo. I know a lot of people don't believe in centering your subject. It doesn't bother me. Probably wouldn't hurt if I scooted her over a little bit in terms of how I cropped it. But either way, experiment, do whatever uh, works for you. For me, often with portrait editing, less is more, unless you're doing like a conceptual or a purposefully gritty or some kind of like unique or fine art kind of photography on a portrait, usually less is more. So for this, I went from that to that with a couple of simple tools, quick, easy, powerful. That's how Neo works. Let me go get one more and show you another example. Okay, these two ladies were posing together and I uh, just grabbed a few shots here as well, of course. I'm gonna start with a slight bump in exposure to about a 15. Smart contrast, I gotta check my notes here. I'm going to about mid 30s. Shadows are coming up seven. And this time I am gonna play with the temperature a little bit. I'm gonna make it a little bit cooler overall. So high 38s, tint at five is fine. A slight increase in sharpening, so maybe a 25 or 30. And also a little bit of noise reduction, probably about a 20 or so there and another 20 or so there. Overall, there it is at the beginning, of course, and there it is now and zoomed in. There it is before and there I am now. So a little bit better, but I got a few things I want to do to this photo. And once again, I'm going to start with Face AI. I just honestly, I love that tool. I just think it's fantastic. And Face Light in particular just comes in super handy to be clear how these events work. 
the models are doing their poses, they're kind of moving and that sort of thing. And there might be three, four, five, ten photographers kind of lined up trying to get some shots. And so this is not me posing them, setting up the light and all that. Things are kind of done and you're kind of moving around trying to do it quick uh, and uh, and all that. So in other words, I don't have total control over the situation. It's kind of fun. It's good experience. It actually, I think, is useful for when you're doing street photography because you got to kind of move quick and make adjustments and that sort of thing. It's almost like street photography because they're moving, except these people know that you're, uh, you're taking their portrait. In the street, they may not be as aware. And frankly, I'm closer here than it would be doing street photography. Anyway, taking photos, no matter what you're doing, it's good practice, right? So face light, there we go. I like that quite a bit. I'm also going to go to Skin AI. Uh, both of these two sliders here, the amount and the shine removal, I'm going to use here. I'm going to go to about a 33, 34, something like that on skin. And I'll zoom in here in a second. And shine removal, I'm going to do something similar. So let me zoom in on these. So that's what it looked like before I did the Skin AI along with the shine removal. There it is now. So it's not a massive difference. And again, I think less is more. Again, unless you're doing a specific kind of look, I tend to try to be as very natural as I can with my edits. I don't want to overdo it and that sort of thing. Um, and let me zoom back out. I'm also going to hit this one with the vignette. This one is going to be like a negative 50 or so. And the size is going to be about a 20... 25. Inner light here is going to be 21 or so, 20, 21. And then once again, I'm going to crop. I'm also going to straighten. I'm going to leave the original aspect ratio. I'm just going to pull this in a little bit. While I'm doing that, I need to straighten. The wonderful thing is I've got a line in the background and I've got this pole here that really helped me get that straight. So I want to, I want to get that pretty straight. And then I'm going to pull this in a little bit more, maybe something about like that. I want some of the barrels, but not all of the barrels. And I want a little bit of that dead space on the left-hand side. There we go. I think that's looking pretty nice. Let me show you the before. There it is. Obviously a little bit darker. A few things that I wanted to adjust as I've done here. And after, I feel like the light's looking a little bit better on them. And I think overall, it's an improved portrait. Again, less is more. The thing is, with Luminar AI, lots of power, lots of control. If you guys want to see me do some portrait videos where I come back and do something a bit more, call it over the top, creative, things like that, let me know with a comment down below. If you want more portrait videos or just more Neo videos, give me a thumbs up, let me know. I'll be back soon with more stuff, my friends. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You guys take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Adios.